Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at a father of three who posted a video on Facebook racially abusing three England players after the Euro 2020 final and has been spared jail. Plasterer Bradford Pretty, 50, embarked on a drunken tirade against Marcus Rashford, Aidan Santo and Bukayo Osaka after the loss on penalties to Italy. The clip, which includes him using two racist terms to describe the three young men, was uploaded to Mr. Pretty's Facebook page. Playing the video for the court, prosecutor Julie Farbrace said it shows him talking about the game, in particular talking about the Ingram players who had missed a penalty at the final. In relation to the matter, there were people who commented on the video, people who were upset about the word he put in there. In the video, an intoxicated Mr. Pretty can be heard saying, where do I start? Where do I start? So gutted like all of us. Proper deflated, big proud of the boys, big proud, but anyone and everyone that knows me well will understand what I am talking about. He uses two racist terms as goes on to refer to Rashford, Sanko and Saka who all missed penalties in England's defeat to Italy in the final. I am so fucking sad. I am so fucking sad, he adds at the end of the video. His defence solicitor, Richard Graham, called the video was apparent and described Mr. Pretty's actions as a moment of drunken madness. He said Mr. Pretty had drunk 15 or 16 cans of lager on the day of the final and was clearly heavily intoxicated in the video. Mr. Graham asked that his client be given credit for his early guilty plea. Chairman of the bench, Chris McKenney, told Mr. Pretty that his offending clearly passes the custody threshold, but suspended the sentence for 50 days in prison for 12 months. Mr. Pretty of Folkestone in Kent was told to complete 200 hours of unpaid work and must also pay prosecution costs and a court surcharge totaling £213. After Mr. Pretty's sentencing, Elizabeth Jenkins, Deputy Chief Crown Prosecutor and Hate Crime in Football lead of the CPS said, There is no room in the game, nor elsewhere, for racism. Where there is sufficient evidence and it is in the public interest, we will prosecute such cases and seek increased sentence on conviction. Hate crimes such as these have a massive impact on players and their mental health. CPS takes this kind of offending very seriously and in this case shows that where offensive content is reported to the police, we can successfully bring offenders to justice. Mark Tavender, Senior Crown Prosecutor of the CPS said, the video uploaded to Facebook by Bradford Pretty was entirely unacceptable and included racist language that will never be tolerated in our society. After Kent Police reported the case to the CPS, we made the decision to charge Mr Pretty with sending an obscene message via a social network. Mr Pretty then entered a guilty plea in which he accepted the charge. The CPS is committed to tackling hate crime wherever it appears in society and will never hesitate to prosecute crimes of this nature whenever our legal test is met. So what are your thoughts about Bradford Pretty and how he went to social media platform Facebook to let out his frustrations to the public regarding the missed penalties by three England footballers which also included racial slurs? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.